The context for uh, this sort of set of videos is that my nephew requested me uh, to, to try and help him with some class 10 mathematics. Uh, and I said, sure, I, mean, I can certainly try. Uh, one of the things that uh, students often, uh, you know, the, the sort of objections or, or the issues that they raise when they're learning mathematics in high school um, is that it seems devoid of practical application, it seems a little uh, theoretical, it seems a little abstract, and it's always, it's not always very clear, uh, at least to the students, uh, why the, a particular topic is being taught. Uh, now, I should highlight that I don't think that uh, we know or have a silver bullet uh, in terms of precisely how to, uh, uh, to teach mathematics in a manner that will appeal to a wide variety of students. But one of the things that we can actually try uh, is the following. Uh, so what we can do is we can take a particular topic uh, and we can build a set of small videos uh, you know, around that topic in the sense that we try and look at that topic from a multiplicity of viewpoints. Uh, and, and hopefully uh, that could lead to uh, a slightly better understanding of the underlying uh, topic, of the underlying concept uh, that is being taught. And the advantage of, of sort of smaller videos uh, is that you can do them relatively quickly. Uh, so if you suddenly had an idea, if you suddenly had an idea about uh, oh, here's another interesting application of this particular topic. We can always uh, sort of make a small video uh, and add it uh, to the playlist. So that essentially is the approach that we'll take. Uh, take a particular topic, um, highlight elements of that topic from a multiplicity of viewpoints, and then encapsulate those viewpoints uh, within short videos.